Hi, I'm Matt, and this is Logos Made Flesh. This movie may not look like a sermon to the sexes. It's an action film, one crazed carnivalesque chase scene from beginning to end, and yet Fury Road has been widely recognized as a feminist film. It's about powerful women, specifically the war rig driver Furiosa and the female band she rescues from sexual enslavement. We're going to the green place and many mothers. And in a land of mothers, we're introduced to even more badass women. The male Max, by contrast, appears a lesser figure. For the first quarter of the film, he's an incapacitated victim, and when released, he rarely speaks, fighting alongside or at the direction of Furiosa. But this movie is equally for men, and it would be a mistake to downplay Max's role. What he does and what's done to him becomes the film's symbol of redemption. The film presents Max as a bird of prey. Though he tries to fly from captivity, he's confined to a birdcage and made to wear a muzzle that resembles a beak, which is in part defined in the dash's bobbling bird's head. But Max isn't just any bird. I live. I die. I live again. Rising from the ashes of a fiery crash, he's revealed to be the phoenix. And it's this resurrected bird who appears destined to confront the beast who boasts, I am your redeemer. It is by my hand you will rise from the ashes of this world. But it's a lie. Under the control of a Morton Joe who lives by machine, people like nature have been reduced to fuel. His female concubines are forced to give birth to his warriors, and if they aren't producing them, they're being drained of their milk to fuel them. Males are likewise exploited, promised a heavenly reward if they fight and die for Joe's rule. I myself will carry you to the gates of Valhalla. I await it. You will lie in shiny and cold. And if they aren't fighting, their blood is drained like gas for those that do. It's because the women have been oppressed by this man that they fly to an idyllic world without men. I can't wait for them to see it. See? Say what? Home. The green place. But if we couldn't grow anything. Where are the others? What others? The many mothers. We're the only ones left. But for obvious reasons, they find that world equally doomed. You know, hope is a mistake. It's Max who stops them from going further. Like them, he began the film avoiding others, but now because of what's been done to him, he's a changed man. Subjected like the women to the position of a rape victim, Max is bound via a chain of blood to the war boy Nux, and through that image, is symbolically impregnated with him, placed at the mercy of his unborn child in the driver's seat. The film further suggests this relationship in the mirrored images of an unborn baby's foot and umbilical cord. Initially, Max shows little concern for his newborn. It's only after their link stops Nux from carrying out Joe's wishes, and Nux turns to use that same link to help Max, that Max comes to fully embrace Nux's son, investing him with a boot and the control of the war rig. Nux has become a little Max, which is what his name reflects. What is this? It's mother's milk. Now a mother, Max washes in mother's milk and is accepted into the land of many mothers. It's this male and female Max who turns the women from the fantasy of a world without men and points Look, them towards the source of their oppression. It'll be a hard day. But I guarantee you that 160 days ride that way. There's nothing but salt. At least that way, you know, we might be able to together come across some kind of redemption life for max is found in redeeming this one feels like hope which can only happen when men and women unite against the exploitation of the beast and his machine fear road isn't just a post-apocalyptic film it's the apocalypse itself a retelling of the book of revelation the citadel over which joe rules is the city of babylon with its legendary hagen gardens joe is the beast possessing a mouth like a lion and a dragon seeking to devour the woman and her child like revelation fury road is an epic vision of humanity's restoration from the fall as the world fell each of us in our own way was broken According to Genesis, Revelation's source, it was in following a serpent that the sexes were cursed to an endless cycle of subjugation. The serpent was cursed to eat the dust and war with the woman, the woman to war with man, and man to war with the ground until he returns the dust and death to be eaten by the serpent. 
But both the book and film pick up on Genesis' promise that one day the woman's child will crush the serpent's head. Never. Max is said to eat Schlanger. Schlanger. Joe is called a Schlanger. And because the word is undefined in the film, it evokes the image of the one thing Max does eat. Instead of being eaten in the dust, Fear Road opens with Max eating the serpent's head. In Revelation, it's Jesus, the Son of Man, the ideal man, and the representative of all men, who brings this war to an end. The phoenix is a traditional symbol of him. Max, like Jesus, is lifted up on a cross so that his universal blood can redeem the dying. I live. I die. Nux's hope for resurrection becomes a reality not in Joe's exploitation, but in the passion and resurrection of Max, who pulls Nux from the symbolic tomb and womb. In the end, it's Max's born-again son who gives his life for others. In witness, the meaning of martyr. Overturn the oppression of jihad. To halt the long train of war. And it's the woman who likewise brings an end to this war. Slaying the beast stripping his mouth and her hand of the machine. But in the midst of the fight, Furiosa receives a mortal wound, a symbolic inversion of woman's creation from a bone in man's side. And yet it's this creation account which explains why man's sacrifice will restore the unity between the sexes. It's through a picture of marriage that Max becomes one with Furiosa. I am so sorry. He reopens her side, drains his blood to fill her, and ultimately gives her his name. Max. My name is Max. This is life. Man lays down his life for his wife as the woman gives life to their child. And through mutual self-giving, renews the world. That's my name. Fury Road ends like Revelation with a marriage between Christ and his bride, a transformed people and city where the waters of life flow without ceasing. By the sacrifice of the ideal redeemer, woman and the world are lifted up. All that from one hell of an action film.